A very good evening. New research has uh, shown that a worrying 10% of our population, particularly children, could be suffering from dyslexia. Dyslexia is a condition where children find it hard to understand normal teaching techniques that leads to basic problems such as the inability to read or write. With the help of professional educators, the Minister of Education is hoping a major rethink of teaching techniques will be the answer. With more on the story, we join Jeffrey Smith. Means number three. Means number three. Applying technology to age-old teaching methods, that's just one strategy these educators hope can help stem the concern that dyslexia could be on the rise and the major cause of educational underachievement here. What we're looking at in our school system is children who, who are failing through the school system because basically they don't have the processing skills to cope with the academic curriculum. The educational expert says it's not what we are teaching our children, but rather how we are teaching it. What's happened here is we've had people who've gone right the way through the school system and failed. It doesn't make sense to say, well, let's do, just do a little bit more of that. What you have to do is say, why did they fail? What was it that caused them to fail through the educational system? Unsupervised television habits like this by our children has also been identified as one of the major contributors to the problem. There are some fantastic television programs, obviously. Uh, but when you're talking about educating young children, there is a real danger that children are watching far too much TV, the wrong kind of TV. They're not getting bored, going outside, playing with their friends, doing make-believe, doing all of those games, making up games for themselves. That's actually an essential part of childhood. Raising the obvious question, what role can parents play? It is as simple as interacting with your child. Play games, read stories. Don't rely on a TV screen or a computer program to educate your child, because it doesn't happen. With a sound record of helping many of our students here sharpen their learning skills, the Cape McGrath Education Centre is offering a helping hand. We find that about 10% uh, of uh, any population worldwide will suffer from some measure of dyslexia, um, which manifests basically in an inability to take on uh, the word sounds as most of us do learn. So they need much more input uh, and much more targeted programs to, to deal with that aspect. With education widely viewed as an investment by many parents, getting the right returns will also depend on how much focus they maintain in simple things like this. Jeffrey Smith, One National News.